official full day in Port Barton. We have thoroughly enjoyed it. Highly recommend this place to anybody looking to go to a small quaint beach town and totally disconnect. Yes, so we're on our way to grab some breakfast at the same place we had dinner last night because it's cheap and it's big. And, and it's filling. We're going on a boat tour today, so we're gonna need something to coat our stomachs for a good amount of the day before we're back in town. Once again, we find ourselves at Gaia Khan. She probably will too if you come here. done with breakfast, we're full, we're happy, now we're walking to the pier where we're gonna do a boat tour today. In case you're wondering, the boat tour costs 700 pesos per person and it is a combination tour, so we're gonna be going to a few different islands and lunch is included as well. It's a great deal, better than El Nido. Yeah, it's half the cost of El Nido. There, most tours run anywhere from 1,200 to 1,500 pesos. So if you are gonna pick one place and maybe you're on a budget, Port Barton might be a better pick over El Nido. The beaches are loaded with people right now getting on the boats. We're jumping into ours, and we're about to go drop off the manifest with the Coast Guard just to get cleared, and then we can go out. The control here in the Philippines is pretty strict, but it's for good reason. It's to protect everybody that's going out, make sure there's accountability. How you feel, how you feel, how you feel? good, it's a beautiful day. I don't know what islands we're going to, and that excites me. But the good news is there's a high probability that we're gonna see a few turtles here. Port Barton's very well known for that. Woo! All right, so we just stopped off at the first island. It's literally a sandbar in between Port Barton and some of the other islands that are out here. The driver, Wynn, says that most people stop here at the end of the day, so he decided to switch it up and stop here at the beginning of the day. That way it's a little bit more deserted. We're the only ones here, and the sandbar is primarily known for starfish and a load of them. It's guaranteed you'll see them when you come out here. Yeah. I would say if you've never snorkeled before, this is a great beginner snorkel thing because it's not that deep. You can actually stand in most of it, and the starfish are awesome. Twin Reef. Twin Reef. One of the best. Just got out of the water. Uh -huh. It's one of the best snorkeling sites, says Wynn, our captain. They and sea life down there is pretty incredible. So are the corals. Off to the next one. Just got to the lunch spot, it's a small island, and one of our boat guides is actually cleaning the fish right on the tip of our boat. It's pretty cool. The great part about all these tours is that they all include lunch. So the deal is you post up on an island, you eat fresh fish that are usually caught morning of, and just kind of relax and enjoy the views and soak it up a little bit before you head back out to another little destination on uh, part of your island segment tour. Right past the lunch place is a place called Turtle Bay, and we just saw about three turtles? Or more. It's hit or miss though. When we first got out here, there were none. We circled around for a while, then we went and ate lunch, came back, and we saw about, I think, three or four turtles just right now, varying in size. Some of them were probably <laughs> one to two feet long. The largest one we saw was, I think, three feet long. Pretty cool.
pretty good. We've seen a lot of different types of fish and a lot of very unique looking uh, corals. But by far for me, the highlights were, it sounds so nasally right now. The highlights for me were the, uh, the starfish and the turtles. Right next to the lagoon is a place called Fantastic. This is where we're gonna be closing out our tour today. And it's only a few more minutes away. Tons of reef around, so we're gonna dive in and check it out. like that the tour is over okay right next to lagoon reef or the lagoon as they call it here it's fantastic it's fantastic that'd probably be the best way to describe it right now turtle yeah. and get in front of my nipples <laughs> <laughs> 